Hi people, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We're an experienced detective about to educate you with facts. Um, it's unfortunate we are here to report the deaths of a very brave police officer. Yes, man. Constable Gregory. Dwight Gregory of Mandeville Police Station. Oh, you understand? So we know that once a police officer is armed, we know that the old corals and all parasites they will be extinguished. And you know, to the family of Constable Gregory, we want you to let you know that your brother and your father and your nephew, uncle, you went out as a real hero and you did justice for the Jamaica Constable Force. And to show criminal that police are not afraid of criminals. And we appreciate what he has done. So we want to use this time to pray for our family. And Constable Greg. Lives of those who are sick, especially family members. I pray, Lord, that you'll continue to anoint them and help them, Lord, that they will continue to do well. I pray for the nurses and the doctors are the frontline workers as they do their task day after day strengthen them father because they need to be strengthened by you be with the security forces i place your blessing upon them that you will cover them under your precious blood even as they go about their daily task Lord, you know the dangers that they face. And so, Lord, I pray that you will continue to speak to the hearts of those who are planning evil against them. And so, Lord, that they will come to know you, whom to know is life eternal. Be with those who lead out in the affairs of the church. The leaders, Lord, I place them before you and also the leaders of the world, countries of the world. I pray that you will inspire them, help them, Lord, to be obedient and to follow in your path so that they'll be able to lead your people aright. I pray for your work and the workers this morning as they go out to expound your word day after day. I pray, Lord, that you'll touch them and that souls will be born for your everlasting kingdom. Be with all who will join in the devotion this morning. Bless them, dear Lord. Open their hearts to your words, especially those who do not know you and those who once walked with you. I pray that you'll remember them this morning in your love and mercy. Continue to strengthen us, Lord, as we continue to keep our focus upon you. Send your Holy Spirit to guide our thoughts as we listen to your words. Forgive us of our sins. And there are so many other things that we need to tell you, but you know our heart's desire. And so, Lord, I pray that you will bless us and that you will grant us the desires of our heart. In your mighty and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Our topic this morning is, Who is he to you? For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. Hebrews 7 verse 1. This is a portion of God's holy word. In Hebrews chapter 7, Paul compares the priesthood of Jesus to that of Melchizedek, the king and priest, whose name means king of justice or king of peace. Melchizedek had preeminence or authority because after defeating his enemies, Abraham gave him the title, and without doubt, the lesser is blessed by the greater. 
Paul presents several characteristics of the priesthood of Jesus. Real, superior, independent of the law. Not because it is against the law, but because it fulfills the law. Independent of the tribe of Levi. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. With an eternal priesthood. Guaranteed, continuous, permanent, and immaculate. Christ is our King, Priest, and Intercessor. He prays for us, and because of Him, we are secure. Praise God. In the book, The Spirit of Prophecy, Volume 2, pages 38 to 395 in the chapter entitled Riding into Jerusalem Ellen G. White recounts that a large crowd accompanied him the blind to whom he had restored sight pressed on leading the way the dumb whose tongues he had loosed shouted the loudest hosannas the cripples whom he had healed bounded freely on. Widows and orphans were among the multitude exalting the name of Jesus. The lepers who had been cleansed by a word from him and rescued from a living death spread their untainted garments in his path and hailed him as the king of glory. Those who had been awakened by his magic voice from the sleep of death were in that throng. As the procession is about to descend the Mount of Olives, it is intercepted by the rulers. They inquire who and what is the cause of all this tumultuous rejoicing. As they, with much authority, Repeat their question, Who is this? The disciples, filled with a spirit of inspiration, are heard above all the noise of the crowd, repeating in eloquent strains the prophecies which answered this question. Adam will tell you, It is the seed of the woman that shall bruise the serpent's head. Ask Abraham, he will tell you, it is Melchizedek, king of Salem, king of peace. Isaiah will tell you, Emmanuel, wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Jeremiah will tell you, the Lord our righteousness. Daniel will tell you he is the Messiah. Hosea will tell you he is the Lord God of hosts. The Lord is his memorial. John the Baptist will tell you he is the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of the world. We, his disciples, declare, This is Jesus, the Messiah, the Prince of Life, the Redeemer of the world. Praise the name of the Lord. He is our intercessor who came and will come again to destroy the works of the devil. The big question this morning, my friends, is what do you say? Who is he to you? Only you can answer that. I pray God's blessing upon you as you ponder these words in your hearts today. Have a wonderful week 
and continue to keep safe. God bless.